Okay, so here we are at 1912 Broadway, Unit 110. Has its own private entrance here, off 19th Street, leading to the front door. You also have your own private patio area. Goes around the side here a little bit as well. Nice palm trees as well in the background. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. This is the light you'll be getting. This is a tankless hot water system. All the units have their own hot water systems. Let's head inside. You can see nice, expansive open floor plan, super high ceilings. Got a lovely fireplace there. And there's really high windows as well that are dual pane. And you do have some blinds up the top there. Just behind here, behind this piece of art, there's actually some holes and some pre-wired HDMI cables. So if you put a TV mount there and you just have the cables coming out here, plug in your streaming box or your cable box there. Be nice and clean when you get it set up. All right, we'll head back over this way. So this is currently set up as the office area. Again, lots of light coming in. You are elevated here up off the street level. So there is some privacy there. It's just a structural beam and then you have your ducting for the HVAC, central AC and central heat. Back into the living area. Just flip back around. So what's really great if you were watching TV and you're facing this direction, you get that nice view to the outside world, which is really nice. Now we'll head into the kitchen dining area. All the appliances are included. You've got a fridge freezer, dishwasher, oven, and of course microwave. Nice good size for cooking. You also have an alarm system through here as well. Now this is the rear door. This is the door you would use if you were going to and from your car. You don't have to go outside of the building and then come back in again to get to the garage, of course, vice versa. Got a good amount of space here. Have the bed area just here. Oh, so these floors, it's bamboo and are just refinished and restained in a satin finish. They look really great. As well as the walls, the walls were repainted in a flat white with Benjamin Moore paint. So it's really high quality paint. Here you have the laundry area, which also leads to the bathroom and also there's a closet. You have these two sliding doors that separate the areas. And of course you have your thermostat for the HVAC. Above the washer and dryer, you could also put some more storage. And then those small circles there next to the light, they're actually the sprinkler system. Here you have some more storage. You could fully deck this out to have full built-ins if you wanted to. It'd be pretty easy to do. And then back here is the closet. Multiple levels already fitted out. Not much left to do here. And that's just the air intake for the AC and then security system there. The second of the sliding doors separates the bathroom. And then you have the tile in the bathroom. It's the only part of the unit that's tiled. The rest is all hardwood. The bathroom, nice and bright. Got this big mirror there. And of course, the medicine cabinet. Nice big sink with dual faucets as well. Back here you have a nice tub. Glass door already fitted. And a nice big shower head too. Just spin back around for a different perspective. Now, 
Some units in the building actually put their bed over there where the office is and then put their office here where the bed is. That's what's really great about these units. It's a bit of a, a blank canvas. You can do what you want. You can switch it up if you get bored and then switch it back again if you get bored with, with a new style. And what's great about the building is it has its own cafe. There's a gym right across the road, as well as Big Joe's, the new Mexican restaurant Sicalo, the newly opened Tartin, they have a Whole Foods and a Trader Joe's, a Starbucks, Santa Monica Brew Works, the Co-op Supermarket, Tacos Port 44, and the 17th Street Metro Stop.